Listen, dude, here's the thing. Have you ever wondered what's inside of a large paper wasp nest? Well, today we're going to find out. So I found this nest um, about 15 feet up in a tree. Uh, as you can tell, it's a pretty big one. Um, I think it's a bald-faced hornet nest uh, based on the size of it. And um, actually, the, the weird part is that uh, since it's cold out, the bees hibernate. Uh, so I had to tape up. This is the only opening. This is the only way that the bees can get in and out. Um, you know, and if you kind of shake it, you can hear them moving around a little bit in there. Um, so, you know, later in the video, I am going to take it out and open it so that we can see all the bees, you know, actually come out of the... Oh! So, obviously that was a joke. Um, now it's time to actually cut it open. So... First thing you can kind of see, and that's where the larva of the bees are. And you can see that there's like some space kind of around the bottom here. And also another interesting thing is that you can see the layers. Um, and there's like kind of open spaces in between each layer as well. So, yeah, it's very creepy though. Um, if this really had bees in it, yikes. So let's see, let's cut it open and see what's inside of it. And it, I'm just gonna um, kind of open up this area because I'm actually gonna put this into my friend's workshop to prank him and make him think that there is a huge beehive in his workshop. So, um, yeah, because, you know, of course, when I get a hold of a big beehive, the first thing I think of is how I can make jokes with it and prank people. When there was leaves in the trees, you couldn't see it at all. So. Wow. Check that out. So let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same as the type of small honeycombs that you might see hanging around something interesting there's there's uh, multiple layers of it so there's like a center sort of piece and it has almost almost like a th like thicker pieces that almost it almost looks like cardboard in the center here and it feels like it too it's it's very hard see it's like these pieces are very, are very tough. Yeah. It, it actually has a weird smell to it as well. So the way that these um, honeycombs work, there are larvae that are actually inside of each of these little, these little combs. And then the bees come in and, and the larvae are sticking out and their little mouths are sticking out. The bees feed honey to them. And then eventually they will, you know, grow into an oral bee and then that repeats and they can change into different types. There's like a, the worker bees and then the soldier bees and then obviously the queen bee as well. And they all do different things within the hive. So overall, pretty interesting. Uh, so yeah, that that's that's it. That's what it looks like on the inside. Um, has a couple different layers and this part up here is is actually really tough it's like it, it's like paper, it's as tough as paper mache it's it's literally hard at this point this is the stick that it was attached to up in the tree so the whole thing was hanging off of this and uh yeah so pretty cool